everyone, it's Mary Dominique and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get this Beyonce Shakira Natural Wave. I've been dying to do this video for you guys. If you're interested in learning how to get this look, then keep on watching. I first want to walk you through my hair routine in the shower when I do this look. Using your favorite shampoo, you're just going to shampoo as normal. And then what I suggest doing is go in with a thicker conditioner or something that's easy to get your hands through and I would just finger comb through your hair. The reason I suggest this is because once it's in a towel, I don't think that you should brush it or comb it after that. It gives you more volume and it kind of sets the tone for the look. My hair is already curly and thick. So once I'm finished doing that, I just place it in a towel, do my makeup, I start my daily routine. The reason I wrap my hair in a towel is because it dries faster. I also find that wrapping it like this keeps the texture in the curl. So after about 20 minutes, I end up removing the towel and letting it air dry some more. And this is how it looks. If your hair is straight or fine, I also have some suggestions of how you could recreate a similar texture and get this style as well. You're gonna shower in the evening and then I suggest a minimum of at least four braids. You can do however many you want. I would section it right in front of the ear here and you're gonna make at least four loose braids. Starting here, just simply go down and make your braid. You can start literally right here. It doesn't have to be too high. But definitely keep it loose. The tighter it is, it's going to be more kiddish and then you'll have to fight with it in the morning to get it to look more loose. When you get to the bottom, you're gonna need a little elastic band. And I suggest kind of alternating until it's tight and then making a little loop. This way you don't have that funky L at the bottom and we all know from like the early 2000s what that looks like. So just a little loop at the bottom and that's gonna keep it flowy at the end. Simply repeat this process until you feel like you have the desired number of braids that will give you the look that you want. I'm going to remove this since I don't need to do this. And my next step is to go in with some sea salt or texturizing spray. I use this Aopui Wild Ginger and you just spritz it throughout the hair. This has such a good nozzle. And your hair should still at this point be a little damp. If you did choose to do the braids, honestly, you might need to dry them a little bit after you pull them out and that's okay. Or even while they're still in the braids, you could dry them up. But basically, I'm going to do that now and I'm just going to dry whatever is left and whatever is still damp. Look like art. Look like art. When your hair is fully dry, you're going to want to section it. I usually take my two thumbs and just go behind like that. Might be a little hard to section, but just gonna twist off what you don't need. And you're going to grab your curling iron or wand. I use the Hot Tools 3 fourths inch barrel, and you're just going to start to curl. So for the right side, I hold my hand like this. And you want to wrap the hair around and leave a little space between. And I just hold it for honestly like five to eight seconds. And you're going to start to get little ringlets. Okay, 
pull it back so you can kind of see how it looks as opposed to this side. There is no rhyme or reason to this. I honestly just grab pieces and it's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be a very natural look. So the reason that we added all of this texture previously is so that you can kind of just grab pieces on the surface. Sometimes you might even want to go forward and change up the curl pattern. I'm just gonna add a few more. If the hair is too long for the iron, you can start by doing the top, pull it out loosely, and then continue on the bottom. So this is the hair underneath. You don't have to be too particular. As you can see, it's already such a big difference from this side that's a lot more straighter. And this side looks great. Now we're gonna go on to the other side. We're gonna resume everything as we did over here. Step on this side, I take my arm and I actually go around. So you're gonna grab a piece. And I just go behind like this. And start to wand. If it's too long and you want to come forward, you can, but I still suggest keeping it away from your face. And you're gonna get that loose curl. So again, no rhyme or reason. I'm literally just grabbing some pieces and fit it all on the iron. That's obviously ideal leaving still a little space between each curl, between each ringlet. Sometimes if it seems like too curly, you can kind of grab, grab the end and just like yank it a little bit loose. It seems like the top is looking really great, but just the bottom is straight. You can even just grab the bottom And I'll also do a few forward. Like that. Here is an example of a piece that's just really straight. I really don't like this piece. And it is kind of on top. So I'm just gonna go in and get that one and you kind of like assess the area as you go and you can always add more at the very end. So again, really no need to be too hard on yourself or too particular because it is a natural look. So on to the next section of your hair. My thumbs. I usually do about two inches between each section. This will probably just be three sections for me. We're gonna start on the right side. So I've only done three curls on this side. If you kind of open them up using your fingers, you're gonna get a really natural, like, angelic effect and that's going to kind of spread it and make it more poofy which is kind of the look i'm going for I'm kind of going for just a untamed natural angel and then move it to the other side again i come around So I just want to remind you, you don't have to curl every piece. I'm kind of just picking ones that are more straight, more noticeable, and it's more forgiving. So it looks very natural. So I just kind of look and see, okay, like I see right away this piece is so straight. Actually, this one I want to do forward. Perfect. Probably going to do the entire top section now. So this, no. We're going to start on this side. So grab my front section. 
This front curl, I always go back with it. I just feel like it makes it look kind of like just that glamour look going away from your face. And you always wanna make sure you're pulling the curl down. Again, really no particular order. Anything that's super straight and super noticeable, I'm going to grab first. Gotta get rid of those. I just love this look, it's so, it's, it takes effort, but it's also effortless. I also find that I can get like a few days out of this look. I was supposed to be going to Italy tomorrow and I planned on doing this look like every, every few days. I think I'm literally in day like 50 of quarantine. And it's just so depressing. Like, thinking about how I'd be in Italy tomorrow, it's just sad. Maybe I'll dress up tomorrow like I'm in Italy and take some pictures drinking some espresso and style my hair like this and post a picture anyway because it will make me feel better, I'm sure. So now that I've done like, this was a bigger section, I've probably done like five or six. They've cooled, I'm just gonna pull them out and reassess the area and see how it's looking. Definitely some pieces that need some love. You can tell they kind of stick out. Okay. I almost feel like this front one could be a little bouncier. If you're not happy with a curl, just go in and redo it. I don't really like the front one too, too curly. So I definitely pull it down with a little bit of force. If you want some volume up top, I suggest taking like little pieces, really small, going as close to the root as possible, close to the scalp. If you do like two or three of those up top, you're gonna get some volume and it looks very natural when you do that. So I can do my almost all. I don't need a hand to hold tight. Don't need a love that's all mine. But sometimes I just want somebody to talk to. Someone that's on mind. I want something to do. for a minute and then pull them apart to check that again while I wait. Mm. Gotta love some good red vino. Let's pull them out. I don't like when they're like curly Q Sue, so I always pull them out. Love it. All right, the back definitely needs a little work. So what I usually do is I try to pull it forward. So for example, like I'll take this piece that's back here and I'll bring it in front of me and still do it over here. So I'll just do a few of those to show you. And you can go up higher or start toward the bottom. And on this side, I'm just gonna do a few of those little pieces to give me some volume. I think that's looking really good. Again, you be the judge of your own hair and your own look. And check it out like that. So now that I feel like it's done, I want to go in with a little bit of my favorite Olaplex oil. I'm just going to add a few drops to gloss up the hair. This would be your final step. 
If you need to add curls after this, you can. So just apply it with your fingertips through the ends of the hair first. This is gonna add shine. Any finishing oil will work. This is just my favorite one. Love it. Thank you. Here we have it, my final natural wave. I love how this came out. I think this is such a fun and easy way to spruce up your hair for summer. If you try this look at home, I would love to know. Please leave me a message in the comments or send me a picture. Also, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to get notified whenever I post a new video, click the little bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Like pull them out that way. That's gotta be in the bloopers.